and the rest of the team to appreciate that if we, um, you know, if we definitively say, you know, this is going to happen, um, and then that doesn't happen, we have lost a lot of, I feel like, um, team credibility. So, um, so I think there's a, I think there's a real balance there in trying to acknowledge mom's concerns, Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, um, not giving her a definitive, um, certain answer. And then I think the other realistic point, um, here is that, um, while I was referring to um, Julianne as one of our MCC colleagues who knows Harrison just as well, if not better, um, I think the challenge is that um, we were probably put in a circumstance of um, not being the experts. Um, and so um, trying to give a little bit of a nuanced answer while appreciating that uh, urology would be the experts and that we should, they, they should be the definitive ones to probably answer that question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so th- this is really helpful, Jeff. Well, my, one of my follow-up questions that you may just have answered was, you kind of ultimately recommended against the need for urodynamic testing now, but you le- left it open that that might be po- needed later. So, Tell me again, how did you come to make that shorter determination? And you don't need this now, but maybe later. Is, can you just recap that for me? Yeah, I think, I, I think um, that was appreciating knowing um, what Harrison's clinical course has been, say, over the last, say, couple of months, and, and knowing that knowing that in the past, urology – um, did not have a particular interest in doing urodynamic studies mm-hmm. at, at any immediate point in time, mm-hmm. um, appreciating also that this was something that Bianca um, was continuing to ask about, mm-hmm. but yet urology did not necessarily see mm-hmm. the immediate utility. Mm-hmm. And so um, I think that's that was kind of a little bit of the, the hedging of, of bets in terms of not having urology, mm-hmm. particularly there. Um, cause I also, I also feel like, um, and maybe this draws on a little bit of history is that, um, you know, um, mom, um, has proven many of us, um, and, um, you know, subspecialists included in this, um, wrong. So to speak, on um, poti- p- potential courses of care. So um, yeah. And is was this the? If I could just want to ask one follow up: Is yeah. were there more than one option here? Like, would it have been reasonable, let's say, for you to have recommended you could do this now? It may not show anything or whatever. I mean, it helped me think through. Was mm-hmm. was that another option you could have suggested? Um, I, I, I don't feel like it was a reasonable yeah. option to, yeah. for us to suggest given that, yeah. um, urology didn't think there'd be yeah. any benefit. So yeah. just sort of, just sort of felt that to stay aligned with our consultant group, yeah. Yeah. um, there, there wouldn't, there wouldn't be, um, an immediate need to do it. Okay. Great. Thank you. Jeff. Um, some might have considered this to be a decision. What do you think? Uh, sure. And then and I could see that now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to fast forward just a bit in this conversation where mom asks, I'm going to stay on this aerodynamic issue because mom asks a follow up question. And this is again only about 30 seconds. Um, okay. um, I'll just play that and then a few others. Okay. I, just, I didn't know if this was going to be one of the situations where like, we do a neurodynamic study and then they go, oh, well, we don't know how it used to be. So we don't have anything to compare it to. So we can't really speak to whether it's this or that or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I didn't know if it would be something like mom should push to get like an initial scan to see where things are at to then see if things deteriorate or... We might talk about that more later. Okay.
Okay, so she asked the question that kind of moves on herself. So tell me what you were hearing from her here. Um, uh, no, um, no, knowing Bianca, I think she, um, she probably did not get the exact answer she was looking for, mm -hmm. um, in terms of us just saying, oh yeah, that's a, that's a good idea, Bianca, we should do the Eurodynamic studies now. Um, so she, um, appropriately so, I think, was trying to use, um, <laughs> The, 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 her own degree that she's got as well in terms of taking care of Harrison and, and yeah. her value yeah. as a parent to advocate for would there be any utility. So I think, I think clearly, um, she was making that point, mm -hmm. um, for us to consider and take back, mm -hmm. but also, I also feel like um, was acknowledging that we have some other issues, so we'll we'll just kind of move on. Okay. And how how much in your mind do, does mom's opinions or preferences about your dynamic testing sort of matter here in this decision? Um, I, I would I would say there's there's um, Given that she knows Harrison quite well, I, I think there's there's va there's value um, mm -hmm. in appreciating what mom what mom has to say, mm -hmm. um, and definitely we definitely probably need to to you know unpack it a little bit more mm -hmm. as to how 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 our decision to not do things now mm -hmm. or you know with, with another three plus weeks left in the hospital. Mm -hmm. um, how mom is feeling mm -hmm. with us not um, potentially doing those versus doing them before um, mm -hmm. he goes home. So, mm -hmm. and I, th I think once again, it's cer certainly um, Harrison has not had a straightforward course and quite honestly is just kind of slowly deteriorating mm -hmm. um, over time. And I think um, there's, there's, Probably um, the perspective from mom and trying to understand once again prognostically mm -hmm. um, how how this makes sense in his overall mm -hmm. um, course. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think there's yeah. yeah. And you saying that we need to unpack sort of mom's opinions and preferences and not doing that here. Tell me why you and you know likely Julianne didn't unpack that here. I mean part. Partly probably because mom moved on herself, but I'm sure there are other reasons in your head about, well, maybe we can do this another time, but tell me. Uh, yeah, I think, um, with a, with a limited amount of time and mm -hmm. just the number of other different, um, topics and areas to, to run through sort of felt like this probably wasn't the appropriate time to consider this. And I think there's also, um, once again, I think, the being able to appreciate past conversations um, mm -hmm. with Bianca mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that um, could definitely derail sort mm -hmm. of the time that we have with other people mm -hmm. for the other for other areas and I, and I think um, Bianca also recognizes that mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. And so, just the last question on this. You know, for this sort of maybe first stage of the decision making where you and Julianne recommended not doing any immediate testing, who would you say in your opinion was the person who made that decision? You, mom, or a combination of you both? Um, I, in terms of not doing it right now, I would probably say it was a combination of probably me and um, Julianne. I'm not um, from this last uh, exchange. Um, it's not clear to me that mom is definitively sold on not doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. feel, yeah, so I feel like this is still out there. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to move to the last sort of clip that I want to just get your thoughts on and then we'll be done. Um, this is where you're introducing the idea of closing gaps and training that parents need before discharge. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is, just a little over a minute, so 
uh, play that and then ask sort of similar questions and we'll be done. Here we go. What you're just thinking about is just...